there no. i would not say only there are perfect but <laughs> the problem is that either parents are too much paranoid they are so much on it and you know that paranoia passes on to the child yes so the child also faces anxiety issues and all that mm. and then there is careless mom who knows nothing about so we say your child is in fifth she says no no there is in fourth we say that in april the academic year changes your child has been promoted oh yes i forgot have those cases yeah we have so we have careless mom syndrome so but careless moms so you know where data comes uh, into picture is that uh, when we see this mom has never come attended any parent teacher meeting we identify that this your son hmm. is a, a what we call is a risky case so what turns out when these children become teenagers this careless moms have a different difficult time dealing with them and teenage issues we all know and this is what we are worried about so what we do is proactive right. uh, what we call is warning system that we are losing this child we are losing this child and please get in uh, you know we ask the teachers to call the parents and go out of the way and bring them back onto the track wow so it's like one more step to, i mean usually just school are concerned with the academics and then they send it to the parents and then parents in the morning send it to the schools but using data to predict yeah, student predict. behavior so, predict the I behavior know. so i saw this movie called minority report okay. of tom cruise uh -huh. and in which they said that the pre crime department so they okay, had that so they used to predict, predict the, the crime and yeah. they can arrest the person before so before i got this motivation it, yeah. that if i can use data and i can predict ke who which children are going to fail and if i can infuse them with special education before they fail before they fail usually yeah. special education is most like a post mortem yeah <laughs> after the child has died like failed we try to revive them okay, but so uh, always after the crime not actually that is one more thing which i <laughs> motivated me i saw this movie carte and huh. in that the first dialogue was that uh, italians have their mafia they have their, their gangs huh. but india has history sheeters history sheeters yeah uh -huh. people who have record, record. and whenever there is a crime in the neighborhood they would catch those history sheeters Wow. <laughs> so then I thought of that okay if police has history sheets why not me? Yeah. And uh, I'm not looking from the criminal perspective I'm looking from the academic performance academic, perspective. Yeah. How can I uh, as a school administrator uh, ensure that children who do not uh, fail hmm. so I can how can I influence them beforehand? So let's say your uh, there's a child in third grade and you know average in math and then fourth and then fifth. So by then fifth you have the richness or you have the data which will tell you how they might perform in the board exams or you know they this person is an average performer in math so you put them into a particular or you group them with those yeah. kind of people so so it's a it's a long story but to cut it short third standard is a classic case where we start examination okay okay so in third standard we have no previous data yeah. in numbers, numbers but we do have in anecdotal records hmm. in qualitative format hmm. Hmm. okay we have parent interactions we have since they are studying with nursery by the time they're in third they're six years with us yes. so if they fail in third hmm. Hmm. Uh, it's a red flag oh. and we go back and we want to ensure that they do not fail future and yes we know that hmm. okay that they are going to fail but how can so the problem in this world is people giving up hope yes and what i have uh, decided that so you know that's a story which uh, goes back to my student times i was um, um, never a complete pass out oh. i used to fail in one subject throughout the academics uh, so throughout the academics throughout my life Wow. Throughout my life, I have failed in one or more subjects, right. and usually it was language. My Hindi was very weak. Uh -huh. Now, thanks to the Gujarat government rule at that time, they had mentioned that if you fail in Gujarati or Hindi, you can be promoted. <laughs> <laughs> so I never repeated. But I focused. Uh, my strengths were English, Math, Science, hmm. and I used to get very good marks in that. So uh, according to the policy of the government and the school policy, I used to sail, sail through. Uh, uh, but I always thought that um, uh, I, my parents did not give up hope in me. Hmm. Uh, the school was uh, very adamant hmm. that you have to study, you have to study. Hmm. Uh, there were bad students 
uh, below me like mm -hmm. they were worse than mm -hmm. cases they were made to repeat mm -hmm. they were um, they were not admitted in, in 12th 11th mm -hmm. uh, but for me it was a lucky thing my father did not own the school at that time right. so i was just a normal student but the school believed in me my parents believed in me my father said that uh, if uh, you did not do become then uh, i will uh, uh, throw you out of my house uh, and become was the biggest challenge for me right. Uh, and right now i am mcom llb ca and i have all almost all qualifications that i could get as a commerce line uh -huh. then there were parallel qualifications but i finished so I, if i become a cs i have to give up my ca yeah. so i am at that uh, level uh, because people did not give up in me sure. so i decided that this all uh, people are like in a big mess and all the students who are failing if uh, our teachers and if i as the management do not give up in them i'm sure my team will not give up in them and if we have this enough force and even if persuasion parents will have also not give up in them right. so when that happens i'm sure one or the other time they will turn around hmm. so when i was pass out in 12th and 10th i was the last student to pass out in my class Wow. Okay, only four students out of this class became C and I was one of them. So, you know, somewhere in my college days, there was some turnaround. I started believing in myself and I became uh, like I got one of the highest marks in first test in TY become. Mm -hmm. right. Highest in, I was right. highest in the class. Then I realized that I could do something. Right. And then I became, mm -hmm. then rest is history. The point is today in our school, we are, uh, like I am, I've decided that uh, all students who are uh, failing mm -hmm. can be turned around. Yeah, I mean you have a motor no child left behind. Yeah, and we are uh, looking at, uh, so uh, I personally know a lot of students' names. Right. I mean, out of 5,000 students, it is difficult to know many children's name. But I know who are being left behind. And I know personally what are the strategies we are doing to deal with them. Right. Many cases we are able to turn around. Many we are not. Right. But it's like, you know, a heart surgeon. The top heart surgeon has the highest death rate. Yes. More than your uh, family, doctor. family doctor. Who is better? <laughs> you can't uh, say really. Because people yeah. go to family doctors are not going to die. Hmm. But 100% people who go to that heart surgeon are going to die. Oh, yeah. He is saving half of them. It is a big thing. Yes. So if we are able to even save half of these children who are not able to pass, we will be. So here we use data where we proactively get into them before they lose hope. Okay. So if, how does detail assessment come into picture? So this? detail assessment is another data resource which we use to proactively so detail assessment goes into chapter wise subject wise right and when we go into subject wise uh, we so this uh, funny data came to my mind i always thought that maximum students failing in a subject would be what do you think which is the most difficult subject for students in across the school math i mean i found it the most difficult you found which math maths was uh, are you sure difficult. Yes, or maybe science. Or maybe science. Yeah, or science. third guess. Mm, student with vernacular difficulty. Very good. Be. So, so I asked this to many people who are not into school education. I asked this question, which is the subject which maximum students would be failing. Mm -hmm. uh, the maximum students, uh, maximum students fail in social studies. Social studies. Yes, because it is a combination of rote this, learning, yeah. English, and writing. Oh. So you need three things to pass social studies, uh, which many students don't have. Maths is the second, uh, th second, second best, yeah, like second, second worst. Highest, second yeah. worst so when, uh, so when I thought about this detail assessment, unfortunately, is not.